brain is made out of a huge number of neurons. In the human brain, we have perhaps 100 billion neurons. Those neurons work together in complex networks in order to generate things like thoughts and feelings. Now, if we want to know where in this complex network something is happening, we ideally could be able to see all the processing happening all at once. If we can't do that, and we can only see a part of the circuit as it processes information, we might not know exactly where the actual computations are happening. For example, imagine that you're trying to figure out how your computer works, and you look at the screen. You might conclude by looking at the screen that there's a lot of stuff happening in the screen. But as we know, it's not the screen that's actually doing the computing. There are chips in the computer elsewhere that are processing the information. Our group is interested in understanding how the brain works. And the key components for doing that is the tools for controlling the brain and reading out from the brain. And one way to read out from the brain is to read out the activity optically. So if you can convert the activity of the neurons into lights, then we can literally see how the brain is actually computing. In this current study, the goal is really to try to figure out whether there are ways to record the neural activity of all of the cells in an organism. For example, there's a small worm, C. elegans, which has only 302 neurons. Those neurons mediate sensation, movement, decision-making, and so forth. If we can record the neural activity, the fast electrical pulses that these cells use to compute throughout an entire nervous system, then it might be possible to figure out how different parts of the brain work together in order to generate complex outputs. Up until now, people were only able to record the signal only from the brain or head region of the worm because of the intrinsic trade-off between the field of view and the speed that comes from scanning. In this work, we don't rely on any scanning, which now allow us to do high-speed 3D imaging with very large field of view. What we found was that indeed, we could take simultaneous three-dimensional images throughout the entire body uh, of an organism, and along the way, we picked up the neural activity of cells throughout the brain and the various ganglia that make up the nervous system. Now, because we can image the neural activity throughout an entire nervous system, we can avoid the problem of not knowing where a particular computation is happening. We can see everything that's going on, and that allows us to pinpoint where information processing is occurring.